What's up, guys? Back for some more Karens? Today's Karens and Kevins are rude, impatient, racist, conniving, and just plain awful. Buckle up while you show you just how ridiculous they can be. <laughs> Karen's trying to scam a shopkeeper into giving her a refund for a Louis Vuitton wallet. But where's your receipt, Karen? This is real. You sold me a knockoff purse. And then this you sold me mine. that. This was mine. Okay, I know what they told me. Mm -mm. Y'all can do a refund if and I'll call it off. To slander me and say this is I will sue you. You can't sue for anything that wasn't it's told that's not real. This is real, baby. Okay, give me my refund and I'll leave. This is real to me. You're calling me a liar. I know what I was told I in know. Atlanta. I got the receipt at home. Okay. So if you that's want to great. push it, that's great. You slander me, I will that's sue great. you. You sue you sold me a knockoff bag. I didn't sell you. This I sold to DJ. This is your store no, and he it's works not. for you. No. Okay. This is this is his store. Okay. Look on the wall. Okay. Or whatever. This is not my store. Okay. Is okay. this my store, Julie? Okay. Okay. This is not my store. Where's my bags? If you slander me... You have to look up the definition for slander and defamation and libel and know the difference. I used to work for an attorney. That bag is a knockoff. The wall is not. Can, I can go back and get proof from Linux as to what they told me yesterday. They don't tell you, you if it's real on No, the only way they can is if you leave it to get it hot stamped. That's the only way because they won't hot stamp anything that's not authentic. They won't hot stamp anything without a receipt. No, th yes they will. Actually, I yes they will. Waiting. Call and ask them. I know what I was told. I know what I was told. Now, I had this some, bag? I bought it from Louis Vuitton. It's I have bigger, the receipts. So it looks like to me you just wanted a bigger bag. No, it's the same bag. I have the receipts to it. I even sent a copy this bag is to it. That's a knockoff. They're not the same bag. There's two sizes of sugar. I know there is. I looked at them. Well, I'm just telling you <laughs> that wallet is real. So when you tell that it's not and you attach my name to it, you just better get ready to buy me about 10000 of those. I'm not buying you anything. And quite frankly, you shouldn't sell stuff that's knockoff. This is not my store. Then what are you here for? The, I sold him the wallet. He called me this morning and said you said the wallet was yeah, fake. Yeah, because that's what Louis Vuitton told me. It that's is not, him. It is not fake. Okay, you're incorrect on that. It's not. You're incorrect. It's not. You you're are, calling you're me a liar. Yeah, you and are. And I have the receipt You part. are. You are very much an, it, it, a liar because if you have a receipt, the receipt will match that number that I is inside the there. Okay, well, then and you won't have a problem. That. Then you won't have a problem. I, you won't I, but have I got to find it. But let me tell you something, right. if I have gotta, to find that... There, there's a record at Louis Vuitton, no matter how old it is, the lady told me that. Well, let me tell you, I can call her and find it out. Well, then find it out, because the name. ownership always stays with it's him unless name. you sell it with a receipt, and that person has it transferred call to Louis Vuitton, their we'll call them and see. Call them and find out. But I already documented everything. I don't care, you just wanted a bigger bag, so it was. I didn't want a bigger bag. I didn't want to spend money on a knockoff. You got a bigger bag. That's all it was. You couldn't afford it. My wallet was you real. You can be prepared for the chamber and everybody to know y'all saw me knock Yeah, that you was a scam. And I have everything in writing, pictures, and I did a deal. So in this next clip, a huge argument is breaking out between a Lyft driver and his customer. He's trying to kick her and her kid out. Let us know in the comments who you think are wrong here. You're canceling my ride because I put paper towels on your front seat. Yeah. You're going to drop me and my babies off in the cold because I put paper yeah. towels on the front seat. I paid for these seats. When I ordered the lift, I paid for four seats. Four it's paper towels. What is wrong with you? You're talking about you're not a delivery? You're my ride. I paid for this. Be careful, slowly, okay? Don't tell me be careful. You're talking about you're going to cancel my ride and kick me and my child out of the car because I put paper towels on your front seat? I paid for you to pick me up and come here and bring me back to my house. Anyway, I will help you. Un uh, you're not helping me do anything. I paid for this. No, you're ridiculous. I paid for this. Because of the baby. Because Nothing because of the baby. No. I paid for four seats. You can't tell me what I can and can't put on them seats. I'm it's paper towels. I don't care. I paid for the seats. What are you talking about? About you're not a delivery driver. What are you talking about, bro?
Are you sick in your head? Babysitter Karen has posted a photo of the kid she's babysitting on Instagram. The parents telling her that's not okay, but does Karen listen? Let's find out. Shouldn't be posting photographs of my children on Instagram. Well, she looks really cute in it. She does look really cute, but why are you putting it on public? Anyone could be looking at her. No one's gonna think about no. Your address isn't on there. Your phone number isn't on there. But it's, it's just her face. It's it's my child. And it will go in twenty four hours anyway. Well, why are you even following me? Well, I follow loads of people, but that's not the point. Well, you don't follow your babysitter. That's weird. Well, I do follow my babysitter, and it's just as well I am. We One photo. We're not gonna pay you until you take that photo off. So well, I'll just stay here until you pay me then. What are you gonna that, do you gonna about have to give it? Give me that phone now. I'm not, no, phone. I'm not giving you my phone. There's all sorts of freaks. Loads of my friends do it that babysit. Well, they shouldn't be doing it. Why? It's, it's literally just a photo. Look, the North is full of Stop posting Well, yeah, you being my... one, why are you following me? I'm a 16-year-old. I'm not, I'm not like that. So give me that phone. Well, why have you got Instagram in the first place? How old are you? You shouldn't be even babysitting. You haven't got a DBS. You, you hired joking? me. Are you joking? I'm 16 years old. I'm That's still in shocking. school. So you could be doing anything. To... Well, you know me. I'm not like that. I'm shocked. We're going to have to tell everyone that you're a bad babysitter. I can't believe I'm here. Well, I'll this. tell everyone that you follow me on Instagram. I'm a 16-year-old girl. How's that going to work out for you? I don't know what to say. I'm shocked for words. All I want to do is, will you please just take that photograph off Instagram and we can move on from this. You could get your money. You could go home. Isabel could be safe. Is that it then? Just take the photo down and that's it? You give me my money and I go? Yeah. I mean, I don't know what else to say. Well, yeah, that's fine then. Right. This hotel receptionist isn't just helping her guest. The guest is complaining about another noisy guest. Karen is showing this woman Rio Karen hospitality instead. Corporate mm -hmm. knows that that is your answer. Mm -hmm. That the smoking and that, that all is all acceptable and that that is the downfall of living in a hotel mm -hmm. for a month and a half mm -hmm. that's what you stand mm -hmm. by mm -hmm. okay this is Thank perfect you. oh you're so very welcome what is your name wendy whirl w-o-r-r-e-l-l -L. okay and you are okay you're telling me that that is the downfall of living in a hotel whatever you say ma'am you uh, have an extended stay day. That is the downfall. This is not extended stay. Or whatever the hell it is. Okay. Okay. It's the same thing. So thank you. And if you're not happy, you're always welcome to leave and go to another hotel. Okay. All right. This is perfect. And what else? I love your customer service. What Isn't else? Isn't it great? Yeah, it's wonderful. It's wonderful. Thank it, it, you. I know it's wonderful. This airline has canceled all of their flights and are not willing to compensate people. It should be called Karen Airlines, if you ask me. You're going to need backup, I'm telling you. You can't do this alone. There's a lot of people. All right, then. At that point, I'm, well, there's nothing else we can do for you guys. If you want to go with the... If you guys want to stay at a hotel for a second night, then you'll have to either go with another... I mean, uh, buy a whole new... Uh, but you cancel the flight and you don't have a flight until Saturday, but you're not going to give people a place to stay until Saturday? Uh, right, if we're recording, then we're done helping you guys. So, uh, oh, wow. so, I'm sorry. I'll help the one who actually want to be helped. A trans woman is called Sir at Popeyes. Let's see how this goes. Here, uh, it's like every single day, you guys, and this is why I complain about all the time. Look, what's what's his name? What's your name? My name Alex? Is Tommy. Yeah, your name's Alex, and I'm gonna be telling your manager. This guy called me sir. I get this happens every I day. Everywhere did. I go, I get called sir. I'm so sorry. Why would you call? I didn't say. No, so. stop trying to gaslight trans people and tell us that we're crazy. I crazy. Heard. You need to fucking be mindful of other people I didn't and say stop being so. a scumbag. And you're a liar. I heard you. Stop gaslighting trans people. Wait, what? Did you call me sir again? What was that? You said good night, sir. Alex, I'm gonna be talking to corporate about you, you motherfucker. F you, okay? That's bull. You don't harass trans people at work. Yeah, you did. And I'm walking out. And you're like, have a good night, sir. Well, what the f is that? No, you don't fucking do this to trans people. This is discrimination. I didn't. Say no, this is discrimination. I'm done with it. Don't try. Don't no, I'm gonna talk to corporate about this. You don't well, harass you trans go. people. Hey, you know it's one of the stupid things Get when you're catching Karens. I didn't even say nothing. You call me sir, and you're talking. Time the the time this is it, transphobic harassment. Oh You're God. a fucking bigot. Oh I work. All right, Alex, you know what? I, I can't wait to just. He admits twice calling me sir. No, he lied about the first one. No, you called me sir twice. He said twice. Said the I never yeah, but you shouldn't be fucking harassing.
harassing but people with slurs. It's you. a slur. I never Do you not understand? I if never you, said sir. It's sir. like if you call the person a color the N word. Don't I never said sir. I you never did on the way out. I don't I, care. But I never. Said I have the sir. right to be pissed I about never it. Said sir. You did. I said I'll lock the door. You f***ing did. You liar. And I'm gonna hold you accountable. People, cis people need to be held accountable for how they treat trans people. And I'm not gonna put up with this anymore. You're crazy, bro. You're. F***ing, don't call me f***ing broke. Stop f***ing throwing slurs at me. You f***ing piece of shit. Have a good night, sis. No, f*** you. Fuck you. I ain't your sis. I ain't your f***ing bro. You don't even f***ing know me. Oh, you want to flash gang signs at me? Alright, alright. Right. Yeah, f*** your ass. Oh, suck. You want to talk about sucking f***ing now? Why is it that you f***ing weird since people are so obsessed with sex? You have discrimination going on. And your brain goes f***ing sucking. Don't f***ing call me sir. This is, this is transphobia. Right here at the pop Yeah, you know, you haven't heard last of me. Karen's not only drunk, she's racist too and behaving like a total buffoon in public. Please, what? please do. What? Yes. What? What for are you going to do? What did this Wait. punk did? Why are you. Why are you. Why, what, is, wrong what is wrong with yeah. you? Because the punk. Watch your neck. Watch your neck. What? You watch your, your neck. You watch your neck. You what are you going to do? You smell like pot. You smell like pot. And what are you going to do? And what are you going to do? What do you want me to do? Uh, you I don't want. I'm not yeah. going. I'm not going to hit you. Yeah, okay. walk, walk this way. What you talking about? You don't Black do people that. that are punk. Wow. And what? Would you even know? The, do you even know what it means? You, you. probably don't. Ignorant. Oh. This woman has had her car washed. She soon realizes that her credit card has been stolen by the car wash guy. Things are about to get ugly. So I just tipped you five dollars. You just found my credit card in my car, and now you in here swiping my credit card. Oh, yeah, vending machine. Did you not just get something out of the vending machine? I don't think so. Did you not find my credit card on the on the floor? Give me my card. Literally, I just got a, a thing saying something about a vending machine. Don't like, why, don't even sit here flat. You literally just took and give me my five dollars back. Here, here. Thank you, and my card. Where's my card? G, how dishonest up is this? It's no way. It's nothing. Wait. G, listen. Wait. Where the manager go? Wait. Can, you can you can you listen? It's nothing. I G, know. I just literally tipped this man that. and turned around and tipped I you. That. I didn't know. And then you asked car. me if you needed. To, it, G, it was on my floor. No, okay. It was on the you floor. I literally saw it before I got out the car and I forgot to pick my. Outside the car. Okay, so it ain't no protocol when y'all find somebody. Where you like, oh, I found somebody's credit card. Manager, I found someone's car while I'm here at work. It's no other pre Right, so you take them to the vending machine and use them? That's crazy. No, I got my five dollars back. But I'll be talking to Car Spa about this. Because what that was. Gee, I don't need your money. I had, listen. Whatever money I spent on there. You probably needed it because you're sitting here with money in your pockets i just gave you five dollars and you still decide to swipe my credit card that you just got out of my car that i just tipped you for cleaning that. that's why i'm trying to give you money so whatever money I keep the money the because what i'm going to do is contact I car know spa i know it's not gonna make right so you might need your money now period enjoy your money snack but at the end of the day that was foul because i'm a really honest person i gave him i tipped him i said your folks helped you clean the car he said yeah i walked all the way back here so i could give you money and you sitting in here stealing from me like my phone ain't gonna notify me that somebody's in here using my motherfucking credit card. Dead serious. That's so up. You don't apologize. Like you don't get to say that's ridiculous. Phillips. I can't believe that. And I look at my phone I'm like, self. Cause early I thought I lost my my boyfriend said, your, your card ain't on the back on the back seat. Yeah. I said, all right, I'll grab it before. And then I get out the car, I completely forget. Yeah. And then I come here tip you and you stand at the machine using my car. 8295. And then people do shit like that while they at work. You don't know about me. You don't know nothing about me. And, but you work here. That's crazy as I appreciate you, love. Karen's picking on a bunch of teenage girls and scolding them about their outfits. Um, whisper. Next time we'll whisper. Nobody was 
butting in on our conversation like that. It's not a conversation. You literally um, are yes, it is. You, everybody you, around you. Everybody. Everybody's Who? standing here. Who? Is everyone as weird enough as you? are literally the one who butted in. You don't want in. men to about about look at you. Don't dress like us. Did you really Who's just say that, that right now? You're literally calling her a slut because she's because wearing a crop top. I see you're recording it fine. Go post so it you're on saying my basically rude. what she dropped. Stop. Okay. That is not what I'm I said and do well not trust my her. words. What's she's going on? Are we really in a fight with a grown ass, like 30 year old woman? For real, talking about me? That I'm, I'm a <laughs> because I'm wearing a crop top? Huh? It's 2020 and I'm being called a because this girl and some boy ass short, like she looks like a zookeeper. Well. A zookeeper is telling me that I look like- This mom has been caught speeding to her kid's school. Doesn't matter if you're a school board member, those tears won't make the cop go away, Karen. Hi, ma'am. And I just let her out to walk to school. I'm I, my name's Stephanie Lawson Muhammad. I'm on the school board. I'm a community member of this town. I'm sorry if I was speeding. Yes, you were speeding. That's why I'm stopping I didn't you. I realize that I was speeding. You're doing 37 and a 25. I'm very sorry. Okay, do you have your driver's registration or insurance, ma'am? I have it on, but okay. I can, can she get out and walk? Sure, school? that's, that's, that's no problem. Now I'm so sorry. <laughs> I hate the, and then my other daughter has to get to school and she's going to be late. Okay, ma'am, I'll just try to get you out of here as quickly as I can, okay? <laughs> I'm scared of cops because you guys hurt black people. Just, just get out of the car and go away. And let me get this in. Man, do you want me to call you an ambulance? No, I don't want you to call me an ambulance. Okay. That's an insult. Okay, I'm just I'm just wondering. You look like you might be having a panic attack or some you anxiety. To call me an okay, no problem. I want you to call me. Do you have your driver's license, your registration, your insurance, ma'am? That was an insult. Okay. Just go. Dad is dad is on a plane. Don't call that. I'm sorry you have to walk. Can you call Justice and tell her that she's going to be late to park? Can you call the middle school and let them know that my daughter no, is I cannot. late for park? I love you. I'm not seeing my driver's license. I have a driver's license. Can you look at okay. my driver's license? Because I'm not seeing it. So you, you're telling me that you don't have your driver's license? I'm telling you that I don't okay. see Okay, do you have your insurance card, ma'am? Are you Maplewood Cop? No, ma'am. South Orange. South Orange, great. I'm yes, ma'am. call Sheena right now. Okay. Ma'am, this is expired. Do you have the new one? the new one. Okay. I'm, I'm freaked out right now. Okay, just a tie for me, okay? And I just call her, she's on the other line. Ma'am, you can put... To my husband. Okay, you can just put that back in the car, ma'am. <laughs> I saw when you were hanging out the window. You didn't need to keep your arm well, out the window. I wanted time. you to know that I had okay. my driver's license. Okay. Are you, are you sure you're okay to drive, ma'am? I'm okay to drive. My child is at home and she has park today. And okay. I need to get her to school. Okay, well, I'll, I'll get this done as quick as possible, okay, ma'am? Here's your driver's license and the uh, ex expired registration card. Oh, excuse me, the, registra uh, the registration and the insurance card, okay? Ma'am, I wrote you a summons for the speed. I also issued one for failing to have a uh, valid insurance card in your possession, okay? What you're going to do with that summons is a mandatory court appearance because what they're going to need to do is make sure that you had insurance on the date and time that you were stopped. Okay, the only thing they're going to do is just what? check... Tell him I have, I can send you your insurance card. He will send the insurance The ticket's already written, ma'am. So no, what you can do that is... That doesn't make any sense. If okay. my husband is telling you right now, because for me to have to go to court, for me to have to go to court, now you want me to go to court? I don't want to go to court. I have insurance. He can text you a picture of it right now. Okay, ma'am, the ticket's already written. I can't void a summons once it's already written. I'll call Sheena. That's and fine. You're more than welcome to do that, ma'am. skinhead cop. Jeez. Two. Okay. Ma'am, if you, if you have any other questions, reference the court date, maybe you can't make it, just call this number up top, speak to our court, our court administrator, they'll work with you as far as scheduling another date for you, okay ma'am? Karen wants a refund for her food and she isn't asking very nicely. You can't protect her. Okay. Give me my money back. Do that. Because you're embarrassing me, no, you You're embarrassing your damn self and you think that you can keep running me. your mouth and I'm not going to say nothing. Know? Run me my money stuff, with your nasty ass stuff. food. You thought you was gonna talk any kind of way. You thought it was gonna be cool. I don't give a what you 
what you gonna do with the video? Yeah. What you gonna do? No. You should've listened to your mama. No, no, you, no, 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 no. Tell her stop shit. recording me. Stop no recording me. Shit. I, I paid my What you mean? I already paid my bill. me. The you mean? I didn't pay my bill. I ain't got no problem with no money. What the you mean pay my bill? Give me my money back. I ain't already paid my bill. Like I said, you can't protect her because she ignorant. No, I want my money back on my car. I don't want my money back in cash. Put my money back on my car. No, you don't. My card is on my phone and I pay with my car so you can give me my money back on my car. Why are you even talking to me? Why are you even talking to me? Quit talking to me. Uh, oh, wow. Oh, wow. You should have better people at your front counter. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Because your food is trash and your customer service is trash. Now you got to say, oh, wow, because you can't control your daughter. You don't get to talk how you want to talk to somebody and talking about like I did something wrong to. I didn't do nothing wrong to none of y'all. I came in here very decent. Who don't toast a to, who don't toast a quesadilla on both sides? Hello? You don't have no answer for that. Give me my money. Give me my money. Give me my money. Do that. I'm gonna give you the digits on the card. Just give me my money. You thought you was gonna sit here and talk to me any kind of way and you thought you was gonna get by. You can play with the like that. You can't play with me like that. Cause I don't play like that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's no exactly what I said. Way. That's exactly what I said. I she thought she was going to talk to me any kind of way, and it ain't going back. You don't get to talk to me like you want to. I'm grown. I'm a grown woman. You talk to me with respect because I was talking to her with respect. Because she was disrespectful, that's why. I paid for my food. I already paid. Quit coming up here like I ain't paid for my shit. I paid for my shit. It don't matter what I said. My tab is paid. What the you coming talk, up here? No, you can't talk with to me. Quit talking. Y'all all can y'all can all stop talking to me. Y'all, it ain't about no money. It's not about no money. I got plenty of money. It ain't about no money. Give me my money back. Give me my give what my money at? Where my money at? My tab is paid. I don't need nobody to pay my Just give me my cash then. Give me my thirty four dollars in cash then. Y'all, y'all lost our rabbit ass mind. Y'all all up here like y'all kept a saver whole all the I paid for my food. No, it was never about the money. It was never about the money. It was never about the money. I got two thousand dollars in my cash. Never about the money. Get out before we call the cops. It was never about. I don't give a. I don't give a. You, you think you should have done that a long time ago? Why you keep trying to be funny? You got all these people up here. I'm calling them right now. Racist Karen just knows how to ruin everyone's fun at the pool. Karen, you need to address that drinking problem and that attitude. <laughs> yeah, it's true. You have a fob, two people. You don't have a Mexican party in the pool. <laughs> Trash. Racist Karen, yeah, let's find her Lakewood, you Colorado. You can't just record me. I live here. Please. I live here. Nowhere where you ever came from, you low class. Bye bye with the cops, you go. This Walmart employee is blocking a couple from leaving the store. Check it out. No, no, what y'all? No. Don't, oh, no, you're about to don't get touch. Soon. You're about to get no. soon. Don't touch. You're about to get soon. Can I have soon. a member of management quickly to grocery store? You're about to get soon. You're about to get sued. Look at this guy. Look at him, look at him, look at him. <laughs> no. Okay. I'm getting paid today. Woo! I just need to see your receipt. Where's the receipt? Show me the receipt. Well, if Show, I, I already got enough. Show him the receipt. <laughs> it's good enough for class action. Show him the receipt. Show him. That's all I need to see. No, I'm yeah, sorry. we'll show it to you. 
We'll show it to you, but we'll sue you for putting your hands when my brand, my daughters are right here. No, 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 no. You're going to lose your job and everything, buddy. You really want to lose your job for Walmart. Show me your receipt. Show me how dumb he is. Look at him. Look at you. You're shaking. And you touched my car with my daughter in here. Look at you. You're a complete idiot. We have a very what the f are you doing? Can I just have someone up here? You're a complete idiot. Did we steal something? No. Because so my knowledge. Okay, so check their receipt. Okay. Check everybody else. You better do this. Okay, well. Everybody I'm in here better get the okay. same. You have the f receipt. Here. Okay. You have the f receipt. There are no registers over there. That's why There is. Them. They just closed it right now. Yeah. Okay. I'm getting paid today. He has my receipt. Yeah, what a dumbass. Yeah. Woo! You got the receipt too. Have fun no, protecting no. a million dollar corporation. I what an idiot. I can't believe this. I knew it was going to happen. Karen's holding a delivery guy hostage because she wants him and the plumber to be at her home at the same time. Wow, Karen, what did you have for breakfast? Because there's clearly something wrong with it. So I definitely have to leave. No, I got kidnapped not. today. I'm sorry. No. <laughs> I plumber, definitely have to leave. The plumber is on his way. You wait. No? I'm sorry, but... Because, first of all, window of opportunity for delivery is 8 to 5. It's gotcha. not even 8 o'clock yet. Okay, yeah. So, you're waiting for that 15 minutes that you were here early. I got... Be, okay, no. listen, I have 15 deliveries today, 220 miles. You'll just have to call those and reschedule with I them. I am not. There's nothing I can do about it. You I, are staying. I'm not in charge here. Unload, I have, I have the superiors. Appliances. I have superiors I have to listen unload to. Unload the appliances. Okay. Because you're going to leave those anyway. Yeah, that's fine. I can unload them and leave them here. And you're going to be stacking them. Yes. Okay. I can see. Yeah, I can stack them real quick. So we'll take and get it all, you know, get it all put up and we'll get it in that room. The plumber is on his way. He's got to cut two little pipes, cap them, and he'll be out. Yeah, I understand your concern here and whatnot, and you want this done, but that's you not... guys can't give me a okay, window well, of time. Listen, no, this you're is you're early. Thing. Listen, this is what I'm telling you. I'm not okay. calling and rescheduling. I've been, I've been I have very, had to take time I've off been... from work. Okay, I have been I working that. with the store I understand multiple that. times. I understand that. You are not going. Okay, I, that is, I understand that, but you cannot tell me that I'm not leaving your house. My boss informed me to leave your house, so that's just what I have to do. It's Get nothing personal. It's Get nothing personal. I don't have to have him on the phone. You're not going anywhere. Okay, well, I'm going to leave your house. No. Okay, and at this point, you've already put me in a threatened situation where I don't feel comfortable. I so... work for the police department, Okay, honey. that's fine, honey. You can't lock me in your house. You guys so are leaving. early. Okay. It is not even Thank time you. yet for you Thank to take you. and be here. You need to step out of my way. No. Okay, I'm telling you, I'm going to call the police. Call 911. Okay, so if you don't move, I'm going to force my way out of your home. Call 911. Okay. Karen's been honking in this hotel's parking lot in the middle of the night. They're calling her out for it, but Karen's defense systems are up. And I'm not going to argue. I'm going to call management. I need you to sit here and be quiet or do whatever you need to do, your business, while I call management. I didn't do anything. Okay, yeah, you did. Do you have You're the one that came in originally aggressive. No, I didn't come aggressive. Okay, okay. I've been very polite I'm with you, and you want to argue with me and my. You're you didn't do it. Us but, that's your vehicle, me. right? Nobody's mad. Listen, is that your vehicle out there? Oh, okay. okay. No, I don't own that vehicle. Okay, so who owns the vehicle? Did you come out of that vehicle? Yes. Okay, you coming out of the vehicle and not going out there and him having a hot like he did? I didn't know that was him. Okay, well, I'm going to call. I can't talk to you anymore, ma'am, because you're going to argue in my lobby, and we've been loud enough with the honking. And I have a whole house full of people. Yeah. Asleep. Because yeah. it's a third party. Yeah. Like, no, that's actually Bradford. So it'll be. Would you stop recording me? I'm not hitting you or doing anything. Well, you're saying I'm being rude and you're lying. No, I'm not. Okay, well, this is not. First, you said he would repeat the one, two times. Then you said nothing. You well, I didn't know how many times, but it was yeah. enough. You came to tell him. If you don't you back, up, please back away from my oh, counter. I'm not touching you. Yeah, you're being very, you're very counter? aggressive. Oh, you're not. I'm not. You're being very aggressive. Oh, you're not at all. Okay. No, no, ma'am, we're not. See you later. Yeah. We're gonna get you a refund. Um, yeah, we don't need any more problems. We, if we have any more problems, we will call the police and have you removed that away. Okay. Okay. So go over and talk to Expedia and we'll put in our notes and get your refund. You don't need us. For nine times. Okay. It's a city. This is a town. Oh, I did? Because you, you don't play this game. This is a child game. Shut it down. I started. Shut it down. Go ahead and report it. Nobody attacked Nobody attacked you. Whatever. 
we're going to report this. You go ahead and make your report. That's fine. Tell them everything bad about me you want, but you are the problem tonight. Have a nice night. Have a nice night. There's a day's in and another hotel. Thank you. I got that on there, too. HOA Karen is trying to chase salesmen away from her neighborhood. This is a classic case of power going to someone's head. Look, uh, out. we are licensed by the city, out. so I'm we're going to continue knocking. You can call the police, and we'll show them our licenses. And it doesn't make a difference. This is a non-solicity exactly. neighborhood per our covenant the restrictions. Yep, and the it's Supreme Court ruled front, that no HOA can actually put restrictions. Front, you need to go. Exactly. As I mentioned, we are Sir, licensed by really the state. I don't really care, young man. You need to leave. Okay. Hey, ma'am, why are you, you so upset? Leave. Why are you so upset? Because you need are you to okay? leave and you're arguing with me. Yeah. You need to go. Look, ma'am, we're out here doing our this job. Is my and we job. are licensed by the city. You so go. we're going to continue to do our job. No, you and are that's, not. That's going to be it. So. No, you are not. You need to go. I will follow you wherever you go. Of course. Out of the neighborhood. If I have to get more of the board members out here to walk you out, I will. Of course. Oh, look, but Buddy also said the same thing. That's okay, man. We're licensed. So We're licensed by the city. I don't care. Your dog, though. I do like your dog. Anybody can hey there, buddy. Hey there. Come here. Oh, buddy. Oh, oh hey there, come buddy. Here. Come here. Poor Oliver. Karen's trying to chase this guy away from a street, claiming that it's private property. This lady right here came in to harass me because I'm picking up my daughter from school. And then, and then it took the private nerve to go property. in there and take a picture of my license plate talking about private property in here. Well, property. then talk with your school from your town because I have to wait here for my daughter to pick her up, which the school bus dropped her right here. So, therefore, you can talk with your city, all right? And don't come approaching my car asking me who I am because you see some black guy in my car. I don't have to leave. I do not have to leave. It does matter. No, it does Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Mind your business and get out of my face. Yeah. Business. Yeah, it's yeah, not it's not your business, though. I got the my my daughter is coming here, dropping off in the school. What the fuck is your business over that? We've been Period. A lot of complaints. I don't give a for your complaints, here. bro. You see a black guy over here, I and I'm waiting for my daughter. Period. You Period. You know what's funny? Because my my kid's mother is white, and she sits there, never got harassed. As soon as I get over here, your ass wants to come and ask me, what the fuck am I doing here? Like, no, Why are you no, being no. So aggressive? Yeah, because I don't like that. And yeah, exactly. Mind your business next time. I am mind Period. My own business. Mind your business. Our last Karen for today is picking on 13 year olds because she has nothing better to do with her time. And you don't have to be so silly. Me? You're too old for this. Use your brain. We're 13. We're yes. 13. How are we How's old? old? How's that too old? Wait, I thought you were a police officer. Yeah, now you're lying again. Wait, I thought you were a police officer. Don't don't oh, get I... hostile. Don't touch us. Don't do anything. Touch you. I'm already I'm not injured. Touching you. Out. Dude, no, like, you out. actually There's cannot so do this. I do know who owns the plantations and do, does know who owns this neighborhood. Yes. I'll have a conversation with him about you later. Yeah, you started screaming. Oh, and I was. Yeah. I wasn't that hurt at all. I'm wearing I'm wearing a padded suit that's made for motorcycles. Yeah. Okay, but this is I can't not, get hurt. I, 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 this is I not understand. a skating yeah, yeah. park. Yeah, but you could ask politely though. Like Linda, we're we're gonna Linda, leave, Linda, but like Linda, you don't Linda, you don't have to Linda. yell at us. Come on, Linda. Like we're we'll we're glad, not even we're, punks. We're glad to leave. Yeah, like seriously.